What's up YouTube? It's Nice Cover Bro. I'm coming at you with another haul video and on this one I have a few pre-orders that I uh, had gotten back from Midtown. I got a really nice run of uh, Miss Marvel from eBay and I got some other store exclusives. Uh, one awesome thing from eBay. I'll get started real quick. So first let's do this Miss Marvel run that I got off of eBay. Um, these are all pretty much almost all the Greg Horn covers for Miss Marvel except for one. And after shipping, they came out to a dollar a piece. These are not near mint, but um, they're pretty nice. They're like VF. So let's get started. We have Miss Marvel number 12, Miss Marvel 13, number 14, number 15. Number 16, number 17, number 18, number 19, and we have 20, 21, 22, 23. These are all Greg Horn covers, real, real nice. Uh, 24, 25. Now the one I am missing is number 26, but that's no big deal. Number 26 is not hard to get. This is 27. This is number 28. This is number 29 and number 30. So these are all the pretty much the whole Greg Horn run for Miss Marvel. I didn't have uh, nearly any of the, I had one. So I got one double. I think I had already had um, that one, number 27. So, yeah, a uh, dollar a piece, not bad. They present really well. They do have a couple spine ticks. Some are in better shape than others, but a dollar each, I mean, I can't complain. Um, you just got to, you know, look on eBay, save sellers that you, you really like, how they, um, how they display their stuff or... Um, if it's the kind of books that you're into for your collection, just save the sellers and uh, check on them once in a while. Here are some pre-orders I got from last month that I didn't get to show. So I got the facsimile of X-Men number one, of course, real nice. I'm never going to have the original, so I might as well. I, I like the facsimiles. They're pretty cool. I got the giant size X-Men. Really awesome. Um, just, I don't know. It makes me appreciate the old stuff more um, when they re reprint it, basically, with the nice paper and, you know, all the ads and everything. I grabbed the Mark Brooks Black Cat just because, I mean, that cover. I mean, I'm, I know that um, J. Scott Campbell's doing all the regular Black Cat covers, and I'm kind of letting them go by because I think they're just going to be so common i mean he's he's still doing what they're coming out with what number four number yeah four or five it's still j scott campbell covers and i think they'll be everywhere but this mark brooks one is just awesome i mean it just looks great i'm, I'm probably gonna find the um there's the virgin variant without the logo here it looks so cool uh, i'm watching it on ebay right now of course i got the adam hughes um, the Lois Lane face. This is Superman 13. But um, yeah, I mean, that's classic. That's classic Hughes, just like zoomed in pretty much. Uh, got the Art Germ one with the uh, Year of the Villains thing. So that's Catwoman 13. Got the Art Germ Blade Runner. That's a cool cover. Um, pretty standard Art Germ style. And I don't know. I don't think um, too many people picked it up. Now, this one finally came out. So this is the Perillo cover for Elvira 7. And this book had been on my pre-orders since um, it first was available probably like seven months ago or even more. It was really weird because they kept delaying it and delaying it. So I had already paid and it had just been like they kept advancing or, or pushing back the release date and it finally came out, so I don't know if a lot of people really grabbed them, um, if they didn't pre-order. So it was just really odd, the timing, uh, but it's a cool cover. And um, 
yeah, it's Perillo, so it'll go with my other stuff. And so I also got, of course, Birth of a She-Devil, number two. Perillo's doing a great job back on doing Red Sonia. Um, and then last but not least, the Jenny Frizen Faithless cover. Um, yeah, still polybagged. I know what, it, what the picture is. I'm just going to see if, um, if this takes off, I might, you know, sell it, trade it for something. Um, if not, then I don't know. I'll just keep it. I have, I have a collection of Jenny Frizen stuff anyway. Um, not too vast, but, uh, some of the nice stuff. Now let's move on to the, the higher end cool stuff. Um, I picked these up off eBay. Uh, these, this pair right here, no pun intended, Adam Hughes sketchbook, another Adam Hughes sketchbook. Um, these are really cool. I mean, they're small, but, um, you know, they're like ash can size, but they always fetch a pretty penny. I think on average, it really doesn't matter. Some go for more or less, but on average, they all kind of range around 35 to $40 is what people pay on eBay. Um, there's a ton of them. He brought one out each year since like, I don't know, 20, 2002, something like that. So, so there's a bunch of them out there, but, um, I mean, inside it's pretty simple. It's not a ton of pages. It's really hard cardstock, but, um, it's just like some of his pinups, his drawings, a couple process shots, and um yeah some of them are really neat the 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 books themselves are always really funny um the titles and and on the front so yeah they're pretty cool they always kind of keep their value i've noticed so right around the 40 dollar range and um i got these so before shipping i got each of these like 21 dollars and 22 dollars for this one i don't know I'm, I'm always trying to get a good deal but um it's really tough out there because on eBay, man, you never know with the damage. The seller might say it's not super damaged and you might not like it. Anyway, got these off of a legit comic store on eBay for a real good price. So they had a 50% off sale. So I got, this is a 1 in 50 uh, Adam Hughes cover for Uncanny Avengers 13. And um, yeah, it's really nice. Um... Paid 15 bucks for it. So, I mean, I don't think that's bad for a 1 in 50. And it's super minty condition. And then the other one from that same store was the JSA Classified number 2, the second printing. Really nice Adam Hughes cover I did not own. And um, I think this one I paid $12. So... It's, you know, it kind of goes that much on average for this one's closer to what people normally pay, maybe a little bit less. Um, I think I got a really good deal on the uh, the one in 50, though. So, yeah, and this is in really great shape. Um, no ticks, nothing. Super awesome. Great Adam Hughes stuff. All right, moving on. Last, what, five books? Yeah. So, this is from an older auction when I got a package back from the auction lot uh, from Bear Island Comics. So I had never bought anything from him before, but uh, but he had this on an older auction and I picked it up. It is just a Fathom number one, pretty common, uh, one of the variant covers. Um, I've, I've had this before. Uh, this was part of the lot, which I wanted. I did not have this, so that's the, the Nirvana cover swipe of another um, of Fathom. But this one, if you look, it has this little COA. Um, this is out of 200. Let's see if you can see that here. Out of 200. And um, that's pretty low. I mean, that's, that's really low. So it's a cool cover swipe and didn't have it. And then last in that lot was one of the um, Danger Girl cover galleries or gallery edition, it's called. It's pretty thick. It says Gallery Edition, Danger Girl. This one is the Virgin one. I think this is from Jetpack Comics, if I'm not mistaken, one of their exclusives. So I have a quite a few. They they always, they do, a, I don't know, there was like this one, there was so many of them. 
And then I also get confused because there's also the Danger Girl 20 Years, which is the same thickness. It's a thicker book. And um, they both came out around the same time. So this is the gallery edition. And then there's a 20 Years, Danger Girl 20 Years. Um, so yeah, I didn't have this specific one, the Virgin one. So all this was a really good deal in one lot. And uh don't remember what I paid, but I know it was worth it. And moving on, um, I got this in. So Vampirella number one, the Derek Chu variant. This one is uh, out of 500. So I got it right direct from the, well, the retailer he was using. It was someone I'd never heard of. They're called like, like Quang comics something like that like a weird name and um yeah but it was the cheapest there there were other stores that had them and yeah i mean there were a ton of variants that came out for vampirella number one i mean almost every artist had a vampirella number one um variant i really like Derek chu so i'm a fan of his and i just went for this one because i don't have a ton of money to spend on every single variant but um and again yeah i didn't buy the virgin one because it's like it's really odd if you guys are into exclusives, you'll see that the trade dress one, which a lot of the times is still really nice, is usually from $15 to $25. But then if you want the virgin cover that's the same cover but without the, you know, without the lettering, then it just automatically is going to go from $40 and above just for the virgin cover. And I'm like, "What? Well, why am I even It's it's just not my in my budget for that so i'll go with the trade dress it's the same cover yeah there's some lettering some logos but you know it's not that bad i really still like the the art so last but not least this was a crazy deal so a while ago i was looking on an auction and i think it was uh thorough cuboro um he auctioned off a blindside number one. It was like an exclusive from a certain store or whatever. So I started looking into that because it was a J. Scott Campbell cover and I had never seen it. And then I found there were quite a few of them. And so I was just, you know, sitting on eBay, looking around, saving things. And I found this one lot of blindside number one, already graded 9.6. And it was the special San Diego Comic-Con edition. And I won it. And I got a great, great, great price. It was amazing. Here we go. This is, boom, blindside number one, um, limited one out of 100, signed. Let me pull back here. And it is, what do we have? 9.6. Can we see that? There, 9.6 um, white pages. It is a, a verified sig. That's why it's a red label. It's a verified signature. So they submitted it after it was signed. And um, yeah, I mean, this is like not the color version. It's sketch version technically, um, but it's the J. Scott Campbell cover. And man, after shipping, um, after shipping, which it was $14 for shipping, which is normal. It's on all our auctions. Whenever you ship a slab, it's like the $14. So after the shipping, I paid $58.99 or $58 something um, for this one. $58 or like $59.01, something like that. A weird number, but not past $59. So that is a really good deal because, I mean, this is already signed. It's graded. 9.6 and it's the specific like really limited san diego con edition i don't know i think it's awesome so pretty sweet um j scott art um i'm not gonna i mean i don't need to look for any more blindside because um i think this one's so limited that i'm okay with just getting this one and not having the color version unless it's a really good deal i mean you never know so so yeah i mean there you go. That's my haul. This is the nicest one. And um, I'm going to be looking. I'm getting some, some other stuff. A lot of new exclusives are coming out, you guys. So especially if, uh, if you pre-order. So things that are coming out for the month of October. 
Um, there's so much variety, so much going on, a lot of great artists, and um, also there's always store exclusives. So, you know, be on the lookout. Um, you never know, it's hit or miss with the store exclusives, but that's kind of what I like to look at. And um, they seem to retain their value. Some of them do, some of them don't, but you never know. So that's all I got. Take it easy.